let's discuss units here inside of InDesign. I'd like to start out by showing you how to set the units when you create a document, and then also how to change the units on existing documents. I'll then step you through how to change the default units for InDesign as a whole, and then I'll finish up with a sneaky little method which might mean that you don't even have to actually change the units. So let's dive in. File, New, Document. Now Adobe keep updating this panel, so don't worry if yours doesn't look the same as mine. I'm going to, for example, jump into the print category here, and let's look at my A4 preset just here. Width and height are just here, but here is what we are particularly interested in, the units. Now mine currently read as millimeters, yours may read as something else. I'm going to change this to, for example, inches, and you can see the width and height update as well, as well, of course, the units. Now I'm going to change this to millimeters and choose create. So I have now created a document with units of millimeters. But let's say I now decide I need to change that to something else. So there's two main ways you can change the units after the fact. One is via the rulers, and the other is via the preferences. Now the rulers are these things you see running across the top and the left just here. And if you don't see your rulers, up under the view menu, this thing just down here is a toggle between show rulers and hide rulers. So if I was to choose this just now, the rulers disappear. If I was to come back, it reads as show rulers. Also note the keyboard shortcut, Command or Control R. So if I tap that keyboard shortcut a few times, you can see I can show and hide the rulers like so. Now with the rulers visible, if we simply right mouse click on say these horizontal wonders here, you can see the units are indeed millimeters and I can change them to something like inches. So this horizontal ruler has updated, very nice. But notice the vertical ruler just here, it's still in millimeters. So you wouldn't want to necessarily work this way, but just in case you do need different units on the two different rulers, you can actually set that up. Now, there is also a way to change the ruler units simultaneously. In the upper left corner where the two rulers meet, if you right mouse click just there, you can see two values are selected just here, telling you that two different units are in play on the two different rulers. So if I was to set this to say pixels, you can see both rulers have indeed updated to pixels. Very nice. Okay, so that's changing the units via the rulers. The second method is via the preferences. So here on a Mac, InDesign, preferences, units and increments. If you're on a Windows machine, you will find the preferences at the bottom of the edit menu. So if we jump in there, we are looking for this ruler unit section just here, horizontal and vertical. That's basically just the two rulers that we saw a few moments ago. So let's say change this back to millimeters. I'll choose OK. And sure enough, the rulers have updated to have units now of millimeters. OK, that's changing the units for a document that already exists. What if we want to change the default units for InDesign as a whole? Well, the way we do that is to make the exact same change that we just did, but to do so with no files open. So if I close this up just now, any preference change that we make will become the new default for all new documents moving forward. A very powerful technique inside of InDesign, also a little dangerous, guys. So don't be poking around if you're not quite sure what you're doing, because if you change something accidentally, that will become your new preference moving forward. So no files are open. InDesign, Preferences, Units and Increments. If I change this to say inches, I'll choose OK. Let's now go up to File, New, Document and see if we have indeed changed the default units for InDesign as a whole. OK, so let's go back to that same preset we saw a few moments ago. Print and then A4 and check it out. It's now defaulting to inches. You may recall earlier, it was actually defaulting to millimeters. So fantastic, we have indeed changed the default unit for InDesign. I'm actually going to change this to millimeters and choose create. So I've now created a new document in millimeters. And now let me uh, finish up by showing you that little trick I referred to a little earlier. So I'm working away on my fancy new design just here. I've got my rectangle tool just here and I've drawn out a beautiful new header. 
Now, the art director's come along and told me that I need to have this header exactly two inches high. Now, I've got my document in millimeters. I'm in Australia. Uh, what are inches again? Um, so why don't we just get InDesign to do the heavy lifting for us? So in this uh, one-off example, so again, I've got my rectangle selected. Here in the properties panel, the height currently reads as 31 millimeters. If I just type in 2IN into this field, IN for inches, CM for centimeters, MM for millimeters, you get the idea. So I've typed in 2IN and I'll press enter or return. Check it out. Our rectangle has indeed changed the height, or InDesign has changed the height of our rectangle to be two inches. And the height field has also updated. And this 50.8 millimeters is actually two inches in millimeters. And if you're not sure if this is a little dodgy or not, let me go up to the upper left corner where the rulers meet. I'll right mouse click and change our units two inches. And sure enough, our rectangle now reads as two inches. So I might uh, wrap things up there, guys. Hopefully that's everything you need to know about units inside of InDesign. Catch you later.